it's seen as obvious one. We've really got to sort of, the BHA have got to come out and get proper racing on a Sunday. And the Kipco 1000 Guinea is an example at Newmarket. We've got to get Sunday racing really built up. But I think, and you, you, you seem to agree with this, Kate, the value is going racing compared to, say, you go to the theatre, oh. go to soccer, and those kind of places, you're stuck in one place. It's a great place for pulling. Coming racing, you can pull, you can go up to a girl and say, I don't understand this here. And you get to that sort of thing, at least you can go around. I'm sure you'd agree with that, Kate, but it is. I, I haven't really pulled no, many no, girls no, no. at the races. Talk about to be honest. gorgeous girl like you, doesn't have bless you. Yeah, right. Talk about one who has. Tom, do you yeah. go racing? Um, <laughs> no, but do you, do you go, what do you think about the value of going racing? What do you, you personally think? Do you know what? I, I understand the point. You, you say, com, try and compare the value of the football game, for example. Football game, you turn up, you know, hypothetically you pay 40 or 50 quid for a ticket you sit there for 90 minutes you might get a pint at half time you go to racing you're there for four and a half hours you have to pay four pound for a pint every time five pound for a burger every time you're destined to lose you know however much you want to bet and it is an expensive day out there's, and, there's no question in that but I, I you know I think if you go to race and you go for a day out and you should still maintain that and if you you know if you don't want to go and spend everything in your pocket you don't have okay. to but, Go okay, go on. No, I, sorry, I didn't want to interrupt. I just yeah. wanted to say, if you're a member of the ROA, yeah, and you're above a certain age, you can go racing tomorrow at Kempton for two pounds. Two quid. Because it will be free to get in. But it, 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 it will be free to get in. Yes. You you use your travel card or whatever it is from mm -hmm. um, for free travel. You pay from Zone 6 to Kempton Return, and that costs mm. £2. Right. It mm. will cost you £2 to go racing tomorrow if you happen to be a member of the ROA who's yeah, over 60. Yeah. Well, now, I'm, I'm sorry, right? there yeah. are Think people have got to do... People, ordinary people like me can't afford to own racehorses and become members of the, of the ROA. Mm. So you've got to think about us. And not over 60 but, either. But let's, ask, let's put you all a question. I've yeah. always said to the all-weather courses, they should be free entry. All the time? What, all the time. What difference actually would that make? Wow. Hey, do you think if they said free entry, Linkfield would be packed out, they'd be fighting to get into Wolverhampton and Southall? No, Kempton. exactly. No, what, no. How many more would go if it was free? I think if it was free... And you did, if you did what most companies do, which is proper mail shots, and you actually sent information out, not necessarily online, but actually put people's letter boxes to yeah. use, well, Sam, Sam spoke and actually go well. round and mail shot the local area. I mean, everyone's targeting younger race goers. Well, younger race goers are going to be at work at a yeah. midweek. Sam, Sam, Sam over there. And but I'm not. Mm. I'm retired. Mm. I won't be. I'll go racing in the middle of the week. Sa Sam over you know, there, he said he's had three leaflets through his... I mean, he might tell him he's had three leaflets through his letterbox to try and join Lingfield Gym. He's had no leaflets through his letterbox to try and come racing yeah, at racing. Lingfield. Yeah. But there, there's more factors than just the value oh, of the marketing, of course, right? Yeah. Of Another factor that came up on Twitter, and I had a bit of a, a debate with uh, Rory Delaghi from Timeform about it, and that's the downgrading of races. Now, Chester, I used to love the Chester early meet. Uh, in May early meet, yeah. there used to be a bit of boggy ground, nice tight left-hand corner, real good bit of racing, I thought. Suddenly, D Stakes, which is a big, you know, recognised derby trial, it's gone from Group Three to listed. Yeah, but it's not uh, because it was Chester yeah, no, is will, packed no, out. No. Whenever they have a Chester meeting on a Sunday, the whole that's the one. But and why, normally why, why do you have to do this courses? when you've got Group Two, Group Three running every single weekend at Newbury, yeah. Newmarket, yeah. every single race course? So you know, Chester gets the opportunity to host one or two Group races a year, and they downgrade it. Yeah, but like, it, why? It doesn't make any difference to their attendance. Of all courses, attendance. He's saying class no racing, problem. though. He's yeah. saying that the yes. class of race has been. Yeah, it won't affect the attendance. The attendance at Chester, and we're talking about the attendances. Mm. The great thing about the attendances debate is every time you have a meeting on, the class of the courses come up, attendance is up. Well, They're always if you, if you don't think so the class of race, then if you don't think the down class down. of racing is going to affect I, people that want to go and watch it, you must be no, bonkers, no, Chester, quite frankly. Chester, you're not. Chester, you're not. That's the Chester So they take the advantage of the fact well, that people I'm, turn up whatever and just get rid of the no, class no, of the racing. No, they don't. The well, they BHA do. Are telling them. The BHA are telling them. Well, the there you go. Yeah, they they can't, can't be on, can it? The, the, the next point I'd like to make is that of, and it's, it's just a little one, of transport. Well, I always find it quite tricky. If you want to go to the racing and have a beer, you've always got to get a train and walk about 25 minutes to a track where you don't know where you're going. Yeah, Kempton. Right, Fontwell, <laughs> have, Fontwell have recognised this problem, yeah. a local, local track, and they now they're running shuttle buses for free from the station straight to racing. 
high schools. Brilliant. Sand down more, do it for you. Sand down down well. always done more it. courses yeah. need to do this. And the last point, and this is the most serious one, I went to Epsom, right, and the race nights in the summer 2009, I got to see Madness, Simply Red and Spandau Ballet. Who are they? <laughs> right. <laughs> no, this is more your lot now, John. I'm just coming to it. 2000 and, no, 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 hold on. 2013, you want to know why Epsom is, is the gross... Uh, biggest attendance faller through the year, 17% down. They've now got Mike and the Mechanics, the National Youth Jazz Orchestra, Tony Hadley, the rest of Spandau Ballet aren't turning up, and Banana Rama. Who's going to go and watch that? Well, 50 years ago, Banana Rama was something I seen for a Well, there we go. I thought Absolutely. you'd get excited. It's, it's, I mean, it's a valid point. So what you're saying is, Epsom, Epsom Race Course, if you want your figures, attendances to go up, get the better known bands in, because people will yeah, uh, pitch up. <laughs> they demand so much money, you get to Tom Jones and that kind of thing, the money they, they yeah, demand. Yeah, but the crowds, the crowds fill out. And uh, we've got to link and this I'm up. here, Madonna would be quite pricey. Absolutely. <laughs> um, yeah. That's now, um, on, on a more lighter note, I wanted to, uh, with Cheltenham around the corner, I mean, probably six weeks away, we did ask the question, Question, if anyone was to have a bet now on Cheltenham, what would it be? So I'm going to go around the panel. Kate, I'm going to ask you, what would it be for you? Apart from the obvious coming over from Ireland, I think I would actually have a bet on Red Sherlock. He was impressed on, on the I weekend. I was, yeah. We win against Ravinda. So Red Sh Sherlock, Kate, Tom? I've got um, an antipose double for Silvanarco Conti and the new one. Not sure about Silvanarco de Conti, see if he gets it boggy, but definitely the new one. I think he's going to turn the fly over. There's no value in the fly anymore, like Sam said. Definitely the new one. And Cider Grugia on a nice boggy ground. I'm following oh. that horse for the rest of the year. Love it. Absolutely you love think Cider, Cider Grugia over Spooner yeah, think he's around. Downs. Yeah, I think he's around 11 to 4, 3 to 1. Now it's a solid bet, isn't it? Nice, uh, nice John, anything waiting. for you? Well, I, I'll go to my grave. Come into the last in the opening race at the um, Supreme Novices last year. My tent on yours comes to challenge and take it up from Champagne Phoebe. Just my car got it in front. It was, the race was all over. My Banker of the meeting, one bet at Cheltenham that, and with the winnings you then get the rest of the yeah. meeting, and of course it all went wrong. So Champagne Fever now going chasing. You could argue with, with my tent or yours is a prominent about a nine to two chance for the champion hurdle. You could argue that my tent or yours is a champion hurdle contender. Why isn't Champagne Fever there? But going going chasing, you understand. I'd love to go beat. I think he beat the new one on merit at Kempton that McCoy deliberately waited he's got mm. the speed the new mm. one hasn't got you speed you think he no, he hasn't no got the I, speed I completely the disagree That's he's clattered a hurdle is. twice and if, as long as he as long as Twiston Davis has made sure that he jumps every hurdle without running through him he, there's no way he's getting beat I think there's the, no I way think he's getting the beat trouble, well, the trouble with my tent is yours will he get up the hill well, he didn't get up the hill last time oh he will he, he, that Sam, is the Sam problem. sticks a boot in his belly no I'm talking about no my tent on yours will he get up the hill and from my point of view everyone Wants to take interest Nobody in wants your tip. Whatever, whatever. No, no, don't listen, don't no, listen. Whatever. It's worthless. Worthless. Whatever. Worthless. Whatever. Whatever. Bookmakers, lay it. Go on, what's what, what is it? Full Gein runs in. Whatever Full Gein oh, yes, runs yes, in. Yes, yeah, yeah, um, yeah, he, he will win yeah, for yeah, Willie yeah. Mullins. Okay. And if Annie Power goes in the champion hurdle, we have that £7 mare allowance as well. Um, <laughs> a big quite interesting as well. I think Annie Power might go for the champion hurdle. The elaborate world hurdle. What a race that would be with, with big bucks. Yeah, uh, Annie Power.